What are you doing? Oh, a month ago, Bell wanted to buy some pancake mix. And I said, mm, there's so much stuff in pancake mix. Just use my pancake hack. She said, I don't know how to make pancakes if I don't use pancake mix. So I said, okay, I can make a lot more pancakes using my pancake hack, just using common flour. This is all-purpose flour. Uh, so we're going to have a shot today at trying to make pancakes, just using flour and some other things to add into it. So I'll just open it up. This flour is all-purpose. You can buy it at any shop. And what's in it, it just says wheat flour with iron, elemental iron, vitamin A, I don't know, retinol, palmulate. I guess that's vitamin A. So this is all-purpose flour. There's no rising agent in it. Uh, but we can still make pancakes with it. Oh, so you're making pancakes for me. Yeah, pancakes pack for merienda. For merienda. Yeah, this is so much cheaper than buying a pancake mix, although a lot of people like a pancake mix. I'll try not to spill it. Uh, so we just want to measure it. I'm not very good at measuring, but this is one cup. So we'll use, say, two cups. We'll see how this turns out. There's one cup. And that's another cup, two cups of all-purpose flour. Overseas I'd call it plain flour, but here they call it all-purpose flour. These things here, I just use these little clips. Uh, I brought them from overseas, but I noticed in a shop, the Mismo, is it? Me, what's the name of the Japanese shop? You can buy clips like the Miniso. 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 Sometimes we uh, have a look around the, the shops. So, what do we add in? A lot of people, if they're cooking, you know, they plan to cook something and they're missing an ingredient and they say, oh, I can't cook it because I'm missing an ingredient. I learned a long time ago, you never have all the ingredients for a proper mix. So in this box it tells you how to make orange muffins. If I look through it, you need flour, butter, eggs, sugar, oh, baking powder. Baking powder is a rising agent, and that if you don't use baking powder, your pan pancakes will be a bit thicker, a little bit flatter. If you're making muffins or a cake, you want to put in a rising agent. If you're making bread, you want to put in uh, a fresh yeast. Uh, the hack with yeast, um, you want fresh yeast, and you want to give it a good kickstart. So if you're making like a dough for bread, use the yeast, put in... Um, the kickstarter, I put in warm milk in the yeast and stir that up, which starts it frothing before I put it in flour. But here, we're making pancakes. If you want to put in yeast, or um, I wouldn't put in yeast, uh, if you want to put in uh, baking powder, uh, a couple of teaspoons in baking powder will be a lot thicker pancake. I wouldn't normally do it in pancakes, but you might want to put in like one teaspoon instead of uh, whatever. So what else do we want in there? Mm. We you need, want... I think you need eggs. Egg! Yeah. Do we have eggs? Let's have a look. We have some eggs. I can get that. That's okay. These are fresh eggs, so I'm not too worried about them. Some people break them straight into the bowl. Typically what I do is break them into a separate bowl, that way I know sh that they're good eggs. Otherwise you can put them in a glass of water and if they rise to the top you know they're bad. The eggs shouldn't rise to the top in water. But here, I'll break one into a bowl. Some people, good chefs, I'm not a chef, I'm a hack. Um, that looks like pretty good egg from the Philippines. So we put in one egg, maybe we want two eggs. <laughs> stir that in a little bit. Maybe I'll put in two eggs. You can put in one or two eggs depending on uh, what you want. I burp in the eggs. camera. You what? I burp. Mm. Smells good. They're good eggs. So we mix those in a little bit. I don't have any, uh, some people will have beaters or if you're a chef you probably uh, have a beater. Do it by hand. You get more exercise. <laughs> mm. That doesn't look much like a pancake at the moment. So what else do we need? Mm. Liquid. What's the liquid thing? We need some liquid in there, so we'll put in some milk. Here's Filipino milk. I think this is, I'm not sure if this is important from the Philippines. This is the milk I have. 
So I put in some milk. I don't know how much. My secret here is you just put in milk. Look at how that's going. Isn't that looking good? <laughs> My secret here is just put the milk in little by little. Yeah, we need a bit more milk. Put it in little by little until you get the texture that you're looking for. Uh, that's looking a bit better. Maybe a bit more milk. I think you need more. I need more milk. I've got to find some... Maybe I've got to run to the shop and buy milk. I'll have a look <laughs> if we got milk. We probably have some in the cupboard. But that's getting a lot thinner. Not thin enough at the moment. It's a bit lumpy. If your pancakes have a few lumps in it, it doesn't matter so much, but I want to try to get them out as much as possible. A bit more milk. Oh, look at that. So you just put in a bit more milk and it gets quite... Then you want to aerate it. So as you're mixing, just try to get some air in there. Some people might have a whip or something, but I think we have one, or I think there's one here, but then you just want a good consistency. Depends <coughs> how runny you want them. Let's taste it. I'll do the taste test. Once I was making a pudding a few years ago, and I went by the recipe, and before I uh, cooked it, I thought, well, I'll just taste a little bit <laughs> and see what it's like. So I'll taste a little here. Mm. Oh, not sweet. Yeah. No sweetener in there. I think we need something to sweeten it. <coughs> Here we have some come again honey. How do you pronounce that? Come again? <laughs> come again. <laughs> come again. Come again. Come again. Pure honey. Come again. Uh, for a sweetener you can use sugar or honey, whatever you want. I'll taste this one. I think it should be okay. You can go to the come again to get your honey if you want. But... Mm. Tastes good. Oh. So good. Filipino honey. Maybe one teaspoon, maybe two. Depends how sweet. Yeah, two teaspoons. Maybe more. Maybe more. For Filipino taste, you can put more. Me, I'd use honey or I would use brown sugar or raw sugar. Uh, people here may use white sugar. I tend to go for the healthier stuff. Whatever's healthier, I tend to use. Now, in pancake mix, I don't use butter. Uh, if you don't wet pancakes, if you forget to put in the sweetener, then you just put a bit of uh, honey on them after you made them, so don't panic too much. Some people let their pancake mix settle after they mix it. They let it settle for a while. I tend not to worry. Otherwise there's too many rules and in cooking it's best to do what you feel like, I think. Get a recipe, change it to what suits you. So is that better now? Yeah, I think that's okay. Let's taste it again. Wow, looks good. Mm. Mm, that's sweeter. That's nice. It's not overly sweet. That's good. Just enough. Tamana. So you just beat it. Try to get air into your mix. So even though it's plain flour without a raising agent, you still try to aerate your your pancake mix. Yeah. Mm. Now for cooking. Yeah, we have some butter in the pan. We've heated the pan and you can hear that sizzling. This is uh, a stainless steel type pan, but you could use a non-stick. I tend not to use non-stick. But... So the butter's sizzling. You just need butter. If you don't have butter, I've cooked them before with just a little bit of olive oil in the bottom. But we've got money all over the floor. You want to show our money? Money? We got plenty well, of money. We got plenty of money here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone want some money? 
money. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you, Belinda and Ricky. Yeah, thank you. You say thank you, Rick Rose, Gorgonio. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the, just showing the bowl here. You can see here that there's some bubbles. So after mixing it, the bubbles are coming up to the top, which is good. Uh, the pan is uh, hot now. So we'll start, I need a spoon. Okay. <laughs> I gotta find a spoon. <laughs> Is it up? Yeah. Okay, the pan's hot and you can see the butters. I probably should have put it in a bit earlier. But I've turned the pan down to medium. We're just going to try to cook a couple of small ones. Yeah. Because um, when you start cooking them in the pan, they'll probably go a little bit. Yeah, uh, flip it off her. Uh, <laughs> look at that for a pancake. So easy to make. Open the plate and now it's ready. Yeah, two pancakes. I thought it would take longer to get a nice pancake. Sometimes sometimes you um, need to season the pan a bit, like make some pancakes and your later ones turn out better than the earlier ones, but I'm lucky today. So you just, if you want bigger pancakes, you put in more mixture. And sometimes you just time it, but I'm not so good on the timing. I think it's enough. It's enough. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> I got pancakes up the side. Oh, who turned it off? It's okay, because it's all me. That's gonna be hot. You can turn it off. It's so hot. Still hot, is it? Yeah. Look at yeah, that, that one looks perfect. If you want to make banana pancakes, you can cut up ripe banana and put it in your mix. But if you want blueberry pancakes, just put them in your mix and cook them in. Yeah, we'll make a bigger one. And if you have a big family, like, you just make more of the mix. Just add in more, more recipe. But once they start cooking, if they start sticking, then you want to put in some more butter, maybe. Oh, look at that. I did the foot better. So there. I tried to, well, we tried to find a pancake shop that makes nice pancakes in Cebu. We're still on cooking. It's like, it's like. You can't Say hi to the camera. Or... Hi. So I'm try a bigger pancake again. And I think the consistency of the mixture is, is good. So if I was making them, I'd just make it like this. I wouldn't put in any more rising agent. But... Yeah. Maybe I should have let it cook a little longer on that first side. It's still okay. Yeah, it's still good. And they're quite circular. So if you put the mixture in the middle, they come out quite circular. Normally I just try to flip it once, but this one, maybe I've just flipped it twice. But it's a nice colour. This will be a gigantic pancake.
I just don't want it to stick to the pan. If they stick to the pan, <coughs> we've used this pan quite a bit, so I don't think things stick to it as much as before. Yeah, it's probably hard to flip. Oh, we got it flipped. Wow, looks so good. Yeah, it looks so good. Okay, we're back. So here we have the pancakes that we just cooked. So I take one of the pancakes, the biggest one, and I'll put it on the plate. So there's our pancake. Then you can have your toppings of choice. Some people just like to put a bit of butter, a nice quality butter on their pancake and eat it that way. <clears throat> Before, I used to like to put a sprinkling of sugar and some lemon or column and sea on the pancake. It tastes very good. Uh, but here we have some, in the Philippines, you have lovely fresh mango. So the way you prepare your mango, you have the whole mango. Wait, I'll get one. Hang on. You have your whole mango and you just cut it down the side and follow the stone, the pip in the middle. So that's what we've done here. We've cut off the cheek or each side of the mango. So the way to do this nicely is you just slice in a crisscross pattern on the mango. I'll put this other one down. Then you use a spoon and you just scoop the mango out. Maybe I've cut this up big and then you can put the mango on your pancake. Oh. So there we are. Pancake with beautiful fresh Filipino mango. And then if we're in a shop, I'll just get some ice cream. You could put a scoop. Put a scoop or two scoops of ice cream on. Yeah, two scoops of ice cream. And if you're really thinking of, this is some cream. You can put a little cream on the top too. And that would uh, run down the mango. But there's my... It's okay, I just love it. You okay there? Okay. There's my pancake hack. If I can do this, I think anyone can. It's easy to do and if you're just using plain flour, it's much cheaper. I think, to me, better than using wow, looks pancake yummy. recipe. So, you want to try it? Can I have some? Yeah, I made it for you. Yeah, try your pancake. For me though. It's for me. Yeah, for you. Come and sit down and try your pancake. Okay, here's a fence pancake for Pinai. Now we will ask Pinai to taste her pancake. Where's and Pinai? Give me a rating. <laughs> Zero to ten. Where's Pinai? Who's I can't Pinai see is her. That? And the viewers, please rate 
FM's pancake. <laughs> can I come? Show your pancake. Yes, pancake. That's can I. Wow, looks so good. Show your pancake. So delicious. So delicious. Look, look at that. Testing. Testing. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'll try this. I'll try the pancake of the Afang. By the Afang. Ouch. <laughs> 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 Meron siyang mango at ice cream. And then cream. Mmm. Wow. 2 out of 10. Is <laughs> 2 out of 10? That's 20. <laughs> Mango and then with ice cream. You should eat. Then you try them on. After you. Good pancake. Very good. <laughs> Very good though, yung, yung, mm. ano, niya, guys. Okay. Good merienda. Mm. Yum, yum. Oh, this one's serious, I Very good. Very good. Thank you, love. Next, welcome, love. Next time, I think I'd put a little rising agent, a little baking powder, or make me mix it a little bit. Yes, me. I'll try a little with that. The top and top. Marienda tayo guys. What do you do? You just put butter? I put butter. And then... I'm gonna this one. No. I might have mom there. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, I'll just get it. Yeah, I'm just making it. Anyway. You eat. Okay, I'll try a little bit of butter. Pink tape strips with a little butter. Mm -hmm. So you put butter with a bit of ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then mango. Ah. Very creative. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
You want a spoon for the ice cream? Okay, this one. This is one here. Sour pork and mango. This is good for you, I think. Just eat. Eat. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Alright, I'll try another thing. <clears throat> you could just have pancake with a little honey. Better if you have honey. What do I want to say? Thank you for watching. Uh, it's easy to make pancakes and people love to put different toppings on or in pancakes. You can cook them with a, make your mix with a bit of, if I was making them again I'd put a little bit of baking powder in the mix so it rises a little more. Um, you can put in banana or blueberries or whatever you want in the uh, pancake mix. I think you can put a little bit of mascarpone cheese in there or something like that too. So there's plenty of things. People love to put on different toppings on pancakes. People, children, whoever. It's great fun. It's good family bonding to do it. Um, so if you like the video, it's easy to make. Please subscribe. Is the thumbs up if you like the video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.